So this is day two of 100 days of core. Today we'll be going over with the problem, adding two numbers. Now this is not simple addition. We are basically going over with the linked list problem and this is a medium lead core problem. So we are bumping up a level from the day one. So as you guys can see, the basic idea here is pretty simple. We have been given two linked list. The first one is two, four, and three. And the next one is five, six, and four. But the key idea here, what a lot of people would miss, and this is a mistake that even I was making, it's not simple addition. For example, what we do in normal addition is we go, 3 plus 4 7 and then we go 4 plus 6 and also add the carryover part but that is not how this is happening rather than going from right to left here we are going from left to the right for example in this case it will be 2 plus 5 7 then nothing's going to be carried over then it's 4 plus 6 which is 10 0 then 1 will be carried over and 3 plus 4 plus 1 from the carried over part we got 8 and once you kind of like have this basic idea laid out clear an empty link list and we'll declare a variable to kind of like take care of the carryover values and then we'll go out with a while loop and make sure to check the condition we are looking at both the l1 or the l2 value so it will go till the end of l1 and l2 that's what we want so the very first thing that we're going to check is the fact that if l1 contains any value in the first place or not like in this case it's two so the first digit is going to be initialized the value two and if that's not the case the first digit is going to get the value zero similarly we're going to also check for l2 so here for example it's five and then this is the key line here we add the digits in such a way that we are adding the first digit then we're also adding the second digit and in case if there's anything carry from the previous iteration and then we take care of the carryover part for the next iteration and then we increment all the lists simultaneously. But the main reason why it's a medium difficulty question is because of the edge case. For example, I've even written here, if we get 999 plus one, so we need to make sure if there's any carry that's left over. So it's gonna start dot next. So it's gonna hop onto the next node and then it will get the carryover value over there. So it just takes care of that one additional space. The only difficult part in this question was actually the edge case. If you can take care of the edge case, you're pretty much done.